Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you very, very much. If this is your first time tuning in or if you have not already done so, feel free to subscribe to the channel. We do a brand new video almost every single day. So if you love sneakers the way I do, the way Buckets does, who is behind the camera, then you've come to the right place. You are in good hands. And if you enjoy today's video, please do hit that thumbs up button. It really does go a long way. I know I say this all the time, it's something very small, but it does help the channel grow. So thank you in advance for that. And if you want to find me outside of YouTube, Twitter and Instagram at Mr. Former Simpson, feel free to hit me up on either or both of those platforms. Buckets, anything to add before I swan dive in and stick the landing? No. Three, two, one, bang, bang. This is the Air Jordan 4 PSG. So these are set to release October 1st. It was initially September, they got pushed back and retail is $225. This is a little bit of an early look. Shouts to our friends over at Kicks R For Us for looking out as they often do. By the way, if you are in the Tampa area, you can stop by either of their two locations. There is one at the University Mall and another at the West Shore Plaza. Just throwing that out there. And of course, they have a website and social media and all of that good stuff. Now, this is a pair that I'm instantly biased towards because I love Burgundy. Burgundy boys, gang, gang, gang. And yes, I know this is actually Bordeaux, I know, but it's close enough for me. So I love this colorway just by itself. And the Jordan 4 is an all time classic. That kind of goes without saying. It's probably Bucket's favorite sneaker of any Jordan out there. Bucket's, is that a fair statement? The Jordan 4? Yeah. Yes. Favorite of all time? Yes. Bam, there it is. It's not my favorite, but it's definitely up there. It's just a really classic look in my opinion. Detail wise, there's not anything too crazy with these. Yesterday we showed you the Jordan 4 Union LA and those had all kinds of crazy details and bells and whistles from the folded tongue to the actual shoe box. These are much more standard, but they still have some cool details. White leather, as you can see, nothing too crazy with that. And then you have the light gray suede wrapping around the toe. Very classy look. And the quality is really good too. Much better than what you would expect on a normal Jordan Retro. The suede on the front, it almost feels like a leather. It's kind of weird, but in a good way. Little Panama tag as well. Panama is slang for Paris. I'm not a brainiac, I just Googled that. You got netting on the sides and the lower half of the tongue as well. Jordan patch up top, all white laces, plenty of Bordeaux to accent the white. I just think it's a really cool contrast. Paris Saint Germain on the heel, and I love how it's striped as well. And this heel tab is thinner than normal. Not that it really matters, but just something to note. 75 on the backside, which is the Paris zip code. A little hidden detailing, definitely another cool touch. Air Jordan flipped upside down on the back of the tongue. Regular Jordan 4 stuff as far as that goes. And speaking of which, air bubble on the side, classic Jordan 4 outsole with the white, black, and Bordeaux all incorporated. Overall, I dig these very much. I do. I think they're a little overpriced as far as the resale prices go, 
but again it's still early i'm hoping after they officially release that some of those resale prices will come down some because again it's not some sort of crazy union la collaboration it's not an off-white collaboration for me it's just a cool colorway with a couple nice details there's nothing too out of the ordinary and that's fine Sometimes simple is good. In fact, most of the time, simple is better. It's hard to mess up a Jordan 4, but if you try to do too much and it's not executed properly, it's a swing and a miss. I said this in yesterday's video, but the folded down Union LA tongue, I just can't get jiggy with that. Now that I know you can unstitch that and unfurl that tongue, I like that sneaker a lot more. But again, if you're tweaking too much, it can go badly very quickly. These are simple. They almost could not mess these up. So with that said, you know we gotta rate them. We gotta make it official. We always do. Scale of one to 10, I am giving these an eight. Eight out of 10, they don't blow my mind into outer space, but I do kind of love them at the same time. Again, I am biased. I do love the burgundy or Bordeaux colorway. I like that a lot. So I feel good about my eight out of 10. Buckets, your rating scale of one to ten what say you five five yeah just because it's a jordan four if it wasn't a jordan four what would it be zero <sighs> goose Fraba. a five out of ten maybe a six i don't know it's a jordan four classic burgundy uh, it's too purple the quality's good so it's not if it was more of a true burgundy and not I guess Bordeaux is like more of a maroon. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's too purple. All right, the color wheel is messing with your feng shui. Okay, I respect it. I respect it. Leave a comment below and let us know how you feel. How do you feel about this colorway? How do you feel about this collaboration? How do you feel about the Jordan 4 in general? How do you think these stack up to the Union LA Jordan 4 that we showed you yesterday? Or if you didn't watch that video, go check it out. And then come back to this video and let us know. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow. Manana. Same time, same place right here at the workshop with a brand new sneaker for thy head tops. Buckets, anything to add? Any life advice? No. Adios.